Hey everybody. Oh. We chose the wrong spot. Hold on. There we go, that's better. Ah, uh, that's right. So, we made it to the Blushing Mermaid. Um, her point of going there was to help find this woman's missing daughter. Hopefully we'll be able to do that. Ooh, cold down here in the man cave today. series of bad decisions. Who's with me? Why, some of the finest artists and musicians began their career amidst stale beer and sticky floors. Oh, there is poetry to be found in even the dingiest of holes. No pissing or shitting. If you break it, you pay for it. Any fighting and Captain Grizzly has sank it. Got it? Good. Welcome to the Blushing Mermaid. If you're here to complain that the booze tastes like piss, I know. Anything else? Guards above. Not again. You pull a knife on me like the last one and you're getting the boot, you hear? That woman, Lara, Laura, whatever her bloody name is. She was screaming her head off about some kid. Tore the place apart. Ooh, bloody disturbing. Captain Grizzly had to clock her in the end. Threw her out on her arse. Good riddance. Dad, I'm not a cow you can sell on the market. Please, honey. Predators are clawing at our door. This marriage will save the business. Just meet the Nilsson son. One meeting for us, for your family. Excuse me, sir, a quick question. Would you marry a stranger so your family can make buckets of gold? Mm. Tell your mother to make arrangements. But, Dad... Not another word. You'll meet the Nilsson boy, and you're going to love him. I promise. The bitch queen road. The blushing maid it comes. Ain't no better grizzly than Captain. Can't a captain be bloody hung over in peace? Oh, why, hello there. Captain Grizzly at your service. What can I do for a long drink of water like yourself? Oh, there's drinks of plenty at the bar. Anything else? Well, those days are behind me. 
even for one as fine looking as yourself. <laughs> Trap again. Listen, Laura was here, all right? Knocking back pints like there's no tomorrow. But she was alone. I saw head nor ass of this so called kid, and when we tried to kick her out, she pulled a knife on my front man. I bet she didn't tell you that bit, huh? <sighs> Not a notion. But not a soul has seen this so-called vanner of hers, myself included. Look, I know Laura from my pirating days. She ran with Bart Blackdagger's crew. Heard they tossed her overboard when she gutted the bosun over a game of cards. Now, I'd no beef with her before this. All are welcoming the maid. But threatening my staff, claiming we took her kid, she's bonkers. <laughs> Dangerous. Next time she pulls a knife on me and mine, someone might die. Something has to be done. <sighs> Gods! Do I have to spell it out for you? There is no child. Laura is mad as a box of frogs. She's dangerous. And I couldn't call myself a captain if I stood by and did nothing. I hate that it's come to this. But I'll pay a hoard of gold to whoever scuppers her. Permanently. <sighs> Paladins. Biggest bunch of dry shites I ever <laughs> laid eyes on. Oh, well. Guess I'll just decorate the room with your... Insides. They'll match my new carpet beautifully. What? How? Hello, Petal. Miss me? Ha! Did you think you were the first? That I didn't plan for it, Petal? Marina ran off with the child I was promised. Because of you. So I had to find myself a new one. And little Vanra was so... Very tasty. Oh, Petal, she'll thank me for it. <laughs> Ren sits in my belly, growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up. And have myself a fresh young hag to train. Unfortunately, that leaves me in a pickle. For while I'd love to rip your guts out, I shouldn't. Exertion is bad for the baby, you know. So, walk away. Walk away. And let me a Fine hag make. Or what? You'll kill me? Touch me, and the girl dies. And I'll simply return. Stronger than ever. <laughs> A woman in my condition should be relaxing in the bath, not dealing with this nonsense. I'll leave you to my crew, matey. And should you somehow survive, stay away, or Van will suffer.
want them. Got a finger, your eyes. Sweeter than rum! Right, watch this, boys!
Oh. Ready. Bleed for me. I'll strike you down. Again? I was hoping she'd found some remote bog to rot in. I think so. You? Just a brief respite. I just have a distinct feeling like we're about to get ourselves into a lot of trouble. King, your deception ends now. I shall cleave the truth from you like flesh from a doer. in the form of a woman and shifted into this abomination she tried to silence me and hide her deception i didn't do anything gortash warned you of this then there is nothing left to discuss Say your farewells, Nevukrim. Now hope is gone, or so it seems, but day's not over No, oh, gross. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Something that, something uh, about that decision just didn't feel right. Something about could the shapeshifter have shapeshifted into Lazel? Oh 
my gosh. Jeez, anything higher than a 15, I'm, I'm in there like swimwear. Actually, I should say anything 15 or higher. Not even higher than 15. I got a 25% chance of rolling, rolling a number. Ah, gosh, excuse me. God, I hate loading this. I may um, on this go around because I know I'm going to get some more inspiration. Um, going to the thieves guild. Come on. Yes, crit. Nice. Perhaps if I remove your eyes, you'll see things as they are. Uh, I knew it. Look at it. Crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. Is it my nether stone you seek, little piggy? Orin will take care of you and your little pet. Nothing. No, not a thing. <laughs> Still gasping and gagging on the foul airs of Ball's Temple. <laughs> Will not slice. Her kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new. Sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. Kinner turned the corpse lover to carrion when you took his stone. Oh, but he was a dull kill. No blood to spill, no guts to rip. A desiccated husk, all dust and hollow. You must be sharpened before you set your edge against my skin. <laughs> You'd prefer my whispers in the tyrant's tongue, hmm? You heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Gortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath never to hang him from the hooks. Drip drain him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. There we slice and shred each other. <laughs> The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is balls. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Ball's doctrine. So will your friend. Orin demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the nether stones, and the chance to control the crown alone. 
Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. The Chosen Three. <laughs> but it tumbled when you turned the Bone Lord to ash. Now, Gortash tries to gouge me from the city. I think I need a shorter it's cable. Inadequate. Thinks me a flesher, butchering and cleaving only to whip the herd towards his tin men's oppression. You must kill him. Gore him like a pig you prepped for the spit. Only then will you be sweet and sharp, ready for the murder lord's purpose. Need? No, no, no. I do not need. You are made of nothing. Meaningless flesh and bone. I do not need. I offer. Ball's age approaches, and you could be there to see it. An idol of flesh, made to welcome his bleeding dawn. There is time for you yet. Time to sing. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> Bring me his stone, and I will set the bait free. <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> That is Baal's offer. He will not make another. Pity Orin, taking Lazel like that. Give her half a chance, and she'll rip out the shapeshifter's spine. Lazel was a formidable addition to our party. Our odds without her are diminished. We should consider Orin's terms carefully, however distasteful we may find them. The bloody shapeshifting freak! No one takes my gith Yankee and gets away with it. Hmm. What happened? No. 
No, I'm not. I'm not ever safe. Ever again. I'll kill her. Something on your mind? So, you talk to Floric, the city's most loyal servant, positively outraged to hear how Will failed his father. Tell me, darling, how is she? Glower all you want. I was merely laying the path to Will's success. With the Duke gone, someone will need to step up in his absence. A man with the spirit of a dragon. His only son, perhaps. Your mind tingles as it opens to Will. He must Curse that rotten devil and her forked tongue, trying to set Floric against me. She's a de- What matters now is that Floric saw sense. And we know our path. We'll finish what my father couldn't. We'll awaken Ansur, the heart of the gate. Go on, read the legend of Ansur. Then we can plan our next steps. We can't just let Orin take one of our own, even if it's Lazel. We have to rescue her. Or kill Gortash in order to win her freedom. <sighs> Keeping very well, I hope. Ansor is sleeping under Worm's Rock Prison. But what's this of a true hero spark? over there. 
Did you want something? If not, I'm perfectly... board is set.
Despite as wonders. Hmm. Let's get going. I didn't realize we were that close. Nice. Oh, all right. Looks sick. Yeah, I'm. I'm alright with what we got.
Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. And all right, new cantrip. All right. Hmm. Light. Produce flame. I don't know why I haven't been using the hell out of that. No rest for the wicked, I see. Watch your back. Ah, oh, he's close. I think before we keep going forward, keep pushing forward. I think this we can... Oh, now what does Missouri want? I've had my eye on you. Hot as brimstone, jagged as lightning, and seething like the river sticks. But there's something missing. Isn't there? You're hungry for pleasures beyond this plane. Something more satisfying than mortal flesh, blood, and bone. Oh, but do hear me out. You want what I have to offer. The ecstasy of agony. The pain of the damned. Stilled into pure bliss. Beyond every climax you've known. The little death writ large. Smile, and I'll come to you when you put your head down to rest. I will sate your most forbidden lusts. Or don't, and know the eternal ache of the unknown and the unanswered. Then we'll keep it our little secret, hand to beating heart. Dear me, I've overestimated you. Trust me, I shan't be making that mistake again. Ta-ta! Why, hello, lover. That sounded more debonair in my head, I'll admit. Do you need something? Hey, all right. 
you sleep, but the wicked don't. Get the hells away from me! Peace, brother. We're here to take you home. The Master needs all seven of us for the ceremony. Come with us and be reborn. We'll live again. The right. The Master needs him. He must attend. Oh, I'm well aware of what the Master needs. But don't we deserve better? Better? What do you mean, better? After all these centuries of torment, I know what you all want. More than power. More than to walk in the sun. You want to see him dead. The right of profane ascension will be mine. And he won't see a scrap of its glory. I am going to complete the ritual as the Ascendant, and then I am going to kill him! This is your chance. Stand with me. Name me your new master. We will get our revenge. And you will all live again. His liar's smile spells danger. He knows full well that his kin will die in the ritual, but if any of the bearers of the scar die before the ritual begins, he will lose his chance to perform the rite himself. He needs them to run willingly to their deaths, thinking they stand a chance against their master. to be free, to end centuries of slavery. You will not ruin it, Astorian. Damn it. This is for the better.
A mess. Well, at least you've met my family now. his compulsion but I can thanks to our wriggling friend <laughs> he will be furious <laughs> and he'll be even more furious when I get to that crypt and stop him for what it's worth thank you no matter what happens down there you helped me stand up against him dog wags his tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth. He gives in and surrenders his find to you. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. for a chat I dare Kazador to send more lackeys our way this is our territory I'll crack anyone who tries not the kind of excitement I usually enjoy being woken up for better than not waking up all. Or waking up with something else entirely. Huh. Well, hello. What can I do for you?
Those vampire spawn came for a starion, didn't they? Lucky for him that we were here to fight them off. Vampire spawn. One's proven enough, let alone a horde of them. It's not just a... Consider this, then this. With this dragon, Onsor was Baldurin's ally. We'd be fools to let him sleep while the dead... save it. Hint of blood lingers around the stuff where it's enough to make your mouth water. Gross. this way and avoided that whole bog of eternal stench over there. Yes, we're going to override, I'll overwrite that. No sense in... Hope so. Ooh. Yeah, let's try it again. Come on. No. Oh. Okay. Nice. All right. Good deal. Vicious mockery. What is that? do to me. Conditions, guidance, I've got six more seconds of that. That might be worth a look. Oh, the bit of hero finally showed up. Uh. I told 
told you, Pepper. You can't hurt me without killing little Zara. I have your feet, so do the heroic thing. Die. If she dies, she's taking the child with her. This will do nicely.
Dang it. Don't I have like a... Many targets. Barbed arrow. It's acid spray. As tempting as that is. Even though I... Didn't I have one that was like... Salving my targets. I thought I had an arrow that was like um, teleport to that era area or teleport something to that. Area. Was it this one?
Must have advantage. And I can't keep her down. Chest over here. Let's take a look. See. Where's the kid? I'm ready.
Well, it is a bummer that we couldn't save the child, but better than... I suppose that's better than um, having her turn into... Oh my goodness. Having her turn into a hag to prey on more people. It's a sad day in the maid. A sad and bloody day. <sighs> Captain Grizzly's dead. And my only comfort is you off their killer. A God's damned hag of all things. Don't be. You weren't the one who was supposed to protect her. She left me the maid. And well, it won't be the same without her. No, you always won't come here, mate. Welcome back, mate. What can I get you? Oi! Take your time. Don't need that.
Wishing you fair winds, mate. You're going on a date? Are you joking? The city is a hair's breadth from violence, and we're shipping off at first light. So? I'll be back by then. Mate, you'd be late to your own funeral. Look, skip the date, and I'll take you out the next time we port, all right? Her eyes shine with concern and love, that of more than a friend. Can't hurt to save it anyway, because we've, uh... Oh, that's, uh... That's not so bad, unless I roll a one. Okay. Well, I... I wouldn't go that far, but... Yeah. I'm worried about you, mate. The ship wouldn't be the same without you. Oh, come on. You know I'm a sucker for that soppy shit. Fine. No date. But let's say we grab another one here for the road. My tree. Dio. Hey, all right. That we could, uh... Be a service. Grimbus, who the heck is this? It's funny. I was reading the most awful things in the paper the other day about these scoundrels running amok, and you remind me. Oh, yeah. Keep bloody wits about you in here. The captain is trying to keep it hush hush, but I heard a kid got nabbed. Dunno, just hurt some folks have started breaking into place. Lord God. This used to be such a beautiful city. Oh, that's Cazador's place, huh? Mistra has a shrine within the city, located in the Stormshore Tabernacle, if my memory serves me. Do whatever you need to, but I shan't be paying my respects to any of the gods on show. You never felt the call of the divine, Starry. Oh, I tried them all. None of them answered. Mistress likeness. It's been some time since I stood before her in a place like this. Well met, Oath Sworn. Your faith may not be orthodox, but it's still welcome here. You have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? Here, I am also granted the power to provide holy resurrection. I am Vicar Humbletoes, guardian of the Stormshore Tabernacle. I keep the peace in this sacred place and guide those in need. Of course, my child. Your notoriety precedes you. Prices have been moderated to reflect your less than welcome presence in the city. Hooray. Whoa! Yeah!
can't throw. want none of this. Trust me. Dude's got an early color scheme. Nice day for it. Hang about. Now, where do I know you from? Oh. Two birds even. Do I With technology these days. I'm sure she left some hair. Boy, I got my eye on. Look, I just packed the papers. If you've got a complaint, editor's inside. I bet that hostel lady wouldn't make you clean the dishes. Huh. The hostel's up that way. You won't find better. Who is safe anymore? No matter how many steel watches Lord Gortash tries to jam down our throats. If you ask me, I don't think Gortash even deserves to be called a lord. That's enough. Everything under control. We don't need agitators like you ruining morale. <laughs> A broken steel watcher. A tag wired to it reads, Unit defective. Return to the steel watch foundry at the West Docks. I'm going to ask for directions. No, no, you mustn't. The city is full of Faces, hands, and eyebrows. How do we protect them? Watch for wind direction. Put on your gloves. And... A light at arm's length. Very good. And what does Uncle Philogear always say? Once it's lit, you commit. Excellent! Now remember, Philogear's fireworks accepts no liability for singed nails, toe <coughs> brushes, loss of limbs, scalded torsos, or blown-off heads. Now... You there. What can I do for you? You feel an all too familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. He has a tadpole. Aha. Uh -huh. A fellow friend of Gortash. Praise the absolute. I have a special sample available just for you, if you wish. A 
heavens, no. I'm just the humble proprietor. Avery Sunshall, at your service. Descendant of the great Velogia Sunshall. Well, you can call me Velogia if you like. Help spread the brand, see? This one will be very useful against any and all enemies of Gortash. Be sure to be Please enjoy responsibly. And nowhere near this establishment. Is there anything else? Of course! Remember! Once it's lit, you commit. And if it's not a firework, do whatever you like. I think we're going to stop here and save it. I got to start cooking dinner. Um, that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and we will see you next time. Let's save it real quick. Last thing I want to do is not save it. Anyway, have a good night. Thanks, everyone.